Fox and Focus is putting a spotlight on education during the pandemic. Now, a few weeks into the new school year, with many students back in classrooms, some parents may have noticed their child still falling behind academically. Fox 26 anchor Caitlin Monty takes a look at whether it may be something more than pandemic learning loss. Many parents spent a year of the pandemic supervising their child's education during virtual learning, yet most parents are not trained in how to spot the difference between pandemic related learning loss and a diagnosable learning difference that could make their child eligible for ongoing academic support that could change their life. I think we all have pandemic learning loss. Life has been disrupted. We've all been plagued with anxiety. We all have a diminished intellectual capacity, but long-term learning and learning disorders are a complete completely different kind of thing. Going into the pandemic, an estimated 14% of public school students were receiving learning accommodations. Reading, writing, and math are the three areas of learning disability under the um, Americans with Disabilities Act. Dr. Kim Harrison works with Houston area children as they are diagnosed with cognitive differences and says these needs can show up at any age. Uh, a lot of people think everything shows up in first grade and it doesn't. In order to diagnose a writing disability, a child has to have a certain amount of practice writing. And so a writing disability might not show up till maybe third or fourth grade. Math, same thing. A lot of children can count on their fingers, and as long as uh, the math that they're doing is with their digits, then they're okay. But once they get beyond that, you have to have problems that require a higher level of reasoning before that's identified. So math disabilities often fifth, sixth, seventh grade. Even ADHD, which she says affects only about 5% of students, can lay hidden up through high school. Sometimes a bright child can hold it together and memorize a lot of things without having to pay close attention uh, until about eighth or ninth grade. So when we see a, a dramatic decline in test scores, usually that's where the red flags go up. And that's when investigation needs to happen. Investigating a possible learning difference is a service available through the public school to which your child is zoned, even if your child is not currently enrolled. Parents can request a learning assessment and should not be afraid of where that leads. We usually see our children through our eyes, and if they're not just right, it, it's, it's hard to, to figure out what to do. But I always encourage parents to go online and, and look up lists of successful people who have dyslexia or a math disability or attention deficit. From Walt Disney to Richard Branson, Michael Phelps to Steven Spielberg. When you have a deficit in one area, you're going to have a gift in another area. It might not be in reading or math. It might be in art or science or who knows what. But... Uh, I, I try to encourage parents to look all the way down the road past school and into a successful life. And uh, then usually parents will come on board. So do not be afraid to ask your local public school to have your child academically evaluated for a learning difference. You can learn more about that in part two of my report, which will air right here on Fox 26 and be available on Fox26Houston.com. I'm Caitlin Monty. Fox 26 News.